Okay, so I want to start off talking about gas prices because I'm seeing a lot of callousness from people about anyone complaining about them. So I think that first of all, it's vital to recognize who is impacted the most by the price of oil being so high. Obviously, as with all things that reduce our spending power, it is those with the lowest incomes who suffer the most. Some people are saying that the higher gas prices are the price it takes to help the people of Ukraine. And I firmly disagree. The choice to boycott products from Russia or companies still doing business in Russia doesn't seem to have the impact that we want it to. And while Russia does require the income from the sale of oil to maintain the war, I can't see it stopping them anytime soon. And they still have many customers all around the world. I'm also seeing a lot of people who want to absolve Joe Biden and some talking about this meme. So this meme, for those listening of instead of watching, is two pictures, one above the other, with that guy from the office who was a jerk to the autistic fellow. In the top one, he's pointing to a whiteboard with the words, average price of gas today, March 10th, 2022, is 432 per gallon. Now I'm going to uh, ignore the obvious nonsense that is the American stubbornness over the version of the, their version of the imperial system. The bottom picture is this guy sitting smugly with new words on the whiteboard. They say, the peak daily average price of gas in 2008 for 411 under President Bush adjusted for today's dollar was 586. And of course there's text underneath those pictures that says your link between partisan politics and gas prices is a lie. Now I feel like there's a lot to unpack here, uh, not to get too complicated, but the context certainly matters. The prices under Bush were a result of the war in Iraq and Afghanistan, which was a decision that the president made. So one could say that the president very much did have an impact on, or said to be partially, if not wholly responsible for that increase. Prices went down when the main portion of that conflict slowed and oil production and costs were less hindered. This was all while demand for oil-based products and fuel was rising. The price dropped to lows not seen in years at the start of the pandemic, partly because of the actions of Russia, uh, of Russian leader Putin and members of OPEC who continued and even increased production despite dropping prices and demand. Again, here's leaders of countries making decisions that impact the price of oil. Currently, the price is going up in a response to the sanctions on oil from Russia placed there initially by Joe Biden and then followed by many other nations. The demand for oil staying the same, the demand for oil staying the same while imposed sanctions reduce the supply means that Biden is in fact responsible in part for the current price of oil, including as well as Prime Minister Trudeau and various other leaders. One of the things that trips me up on this is that well-meaning people have memes like this and they use them to dunk on their political opponents but they don't seem to want to acknowledge that world leaders do make a difference. They don't decide on the price in some way that in the way that some people imagine, but neither are they wholly innocent. Biden announced the sanctions knowing full well what would happen if he did, but he chose to because he, he values his stance in the conflict with Russia and felt that consumers of the world could bear the weight of this decision. I think it isn't right to put this on consumers, and I think it isn't right that oil companies uh, aren't losing profits. But something like that can't be done just by the president. It has to be a law enacted by the rest of the legislature, and even that wouldn't help everyone, just America. So it's not partisan lies that make Biden responsible for, responsible for the highest gas prices we've seen in over a decade. It's reality. It's his actions, and because of the influence and power of the U.S. state, other countries followed suit which increased a demand on, diminish, on a diminished oil production. I'm not trying to say that he shouldn't have done it, but this desire to dunk on political opponents combined with a media-induced bloodlust that has turned people I normally consider empathetic and wonderful into callous, uncaring monsters who would rather see Russian soldier, soldiers die by the thousands than see a peaceful end to the war and who attack their neighbors for complaining about gas prices, even though the high price of gas means that some of us has to choose between getting to work and buying groceries. There's already been a lot said about the hypocrisy and racism of the media and governments here and in Europe, so I'm not going to talk about that again, but it, it is worth noting whenever they point out how civilized Ukraine is. There are lots of people talking about Russia and Ukraine and the information is coming too fast to talk about in a way that I would feel good about. So just be careful when you're looking at this stuff and don't jump to snap judgment.